and I'm going to talk a little bit about hydroponics today. Um, what I have here is an aeroponics system. Um, I've been kind of working with hydroponics, aeroponic production since I was about 23, not 23 anymore. Um, so going on 25 years that I've been looking at different production and um, this is just a system that I have here in my backyard that we use. And what I wanna do is show you how I'm gonna take some strawberries and put into this system. But the idea of hydroponics and aeroponics can translate into a whole bunch of different systems. This is just kinda of the convenient one that I have. Um, I'll do additional videos uh, in the weeks to come that illustrate how you can make a very simple almost passive um, hydroponic system out of just some common uh, products you might be able to, to either order and get in or you might even have laying around. But first things first, what I wanna do is talk about strawberries. Right now is prime time. Strawberries you um, usually already have in the ground and they're flowering right now and putting on fruit. Um, just ordered some fresh strawberries that'll be coming in uh, directly to the house in May from a local grower. So strawberry fields will be pumping out strawberries here very, very soon. But what I want are strawberries in my own backyard because Ellie eats out of our backyard and one of the things she loves are strawberries. So what I had done prior to all of the Corona was order in bare root strawberries. You see those, okay? So all you have is then the initial strawberry crown, it's bare root, and then when you get it, there is none of this growth. Okay, so what I've done is add a little bit of water to the bag that it came in. So here is another variety of strawberries. I add a little bit of water to the bottom of the bag and what I've been letting them do is naturally just start to push out. You can see some are just now starting to come out and then some of them are already to this stage look this guy's already got a little bud so he's going to put out a flower as soon as i get him in a proper home but once again ordered these online some of your local greenhouses might have some bare root strawberries in right now but this is a way that i can go ahead and get a jump start even though i didn't put these in this past fall i can take them now push them in a system like this or put them in the ground and what they're going to do is they're already going to start flowering directly. So even though I didn't do a fall planting, I can still count on getting strawberry production here. It won't be May. It won't be like what the true strawberry producers are doing. But here by June, I should be able to have some berries actually on the vine and getting ready to ripen. So I'm going to set these guys aside because this is going to be my next batch I'm going to work with. But what I have here are our bare root strawberries. And what I've already done is transplant them into what's called a little net pot. So this is a net pot. This is what we use in a lot of our hydroponic or aeroponic production. All I'm doing with this net pot is taking this and because I want to put these bare roots hanging directly into the nutrient solution that's going to trickle over them in this system, I've got to make a few cuts. So all I've got to do is cut a few little of these net things. I don't know what to call them. Okay, and all I'm going to do is take my little strawberry He's already happy and growing. I'm going to take his roots and I'm going to push them through. And then he's just going to kind of lay right there on the side of this cup. Roots hanging out. So what I'm going to do now is turn this system on. Plug it in. And Alice, if you want to come up here, what you're going to see in this system specifically can you see the water? Yeah. Okay, the way this aeroponic system is designed is so the water is trickling and the nutrient solution is trickling right at the back side of these roots. So I've got 20 plants ready to go. 
and all I've got to do now is take them. See the roots go in the central column, push them in, snap them in place. I want to make sure that crown right there isn't too far down to where it's not going to get the sunlight. And really, this is as simple as it gets to plant. What I'm going to do is 20 strawberries. So, Ellie's going to follow me around real quick. I'm going to pop some of these in. What I'll be able to do is all of these here will then form an entire column of strawberries. What we'll do is keep you guys up to date on how they pro uh, how they progress. We should here in the next, I would think, two probably three weeks, we're going to see these really start to flush and grow out. We'll start to see some bloom setting, as you saw on these here. Somebody's already trying. So as soon as I, as soon as I'm able to get them into their proper environment, I have a second tower, then that bloom's gonna come out and we're gonna start to see some berries start to form. So we will keep you apprised of how this works, but just keep in mind that there's a lot of different ways we can produce. So hydroponic production, can be something you can do even in your urban backyard if you don't have a lot of space. This right here will be 20 plants going straight up. And then I've got the ability on this system as well, I'm gonna do some microgreens up here. So I can have some additional lettuces as well as my strawberries in one place. But I will do some videos that illustrate how you can make your own hydroponic systems and other ways that we can do some really cost-effective growing even in a very small urban space. So we thank you for watching and we'll be back with you soon. Bye.